Jacob Graves, 2A, take one. Mark. I think Austin's a great music city, probably due to the uh, the caliber of weird people that it ends up bringing to it. It's got the locale, it's got lazy spots near a river, it's got, you know, open-minded weirdos wearing cowboy hats. It's got a lot of uh, interesting influences, so I think that songwriting and the way that people approach music um, comes from a, a, a weirder spot. No, but really, I, I think it does create a, a unique sound to itself that's classic, but uh, a little off kilter. Paul Key recently opened a, 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 his first, like, you know, namesake restaurant uh, called Key, and it's crazy challenging food. You know, I, I had a friend take his grandfather there, and he, he couldn't even find anything on the menu to eat. It's like squid ink, pasta with sea urchin. And then on this, you know, on the other side, there's Polvos, which is a, you know, restaurant over on South First. You know, I'm a creature of habit, so I've always just gotten tacos and stuff, and recently I've started expanding on their whole menu. Uh, outside of the margarita section and stuff like that. I would say that the dish that pretty much does Austin is a bowl of queso, probably. Fancy queso kind of throws me off. It has to kind of go right on the Velveeta line, but a little bit elevated, you know, so they'll put black beans in it or something weird. But bad, good queso, I think, kind of sums up Austin.